hello in this tutorial we are going to talk about how to do a bifold or folding door it's a four panel folding door uh, to operate this i select and uh, make it open this 150 apply open this will make 250 it will open more or it will make 300 it will open little more then it make it make it zero again play okay close again how to do this simple but uh, little mathematically calculations are required and uh, i will show you how to do it stay with me let us start you can download all the exercise file from my website 2d2beam.com and please visit i'll provide the link in the description thank you i already set up a door template with the frame and already created a door panel if you don't know how to do it please watch my previous videos the only difference is i started this panel from this point and it flush with the line the door will be up and the angle will be driven by the bottom line so I load into the project but here to define length and height we need to make two parameters first one is door height okay at door panel okay so this one should be height minus frame width straightforward the door panel should be width divided by 2 by 2 minus frame width 450 so since a bifold we need to divide it in by 2 because 2 panel will come in the same way output oh sorry I put a divider okay 225 okay so we give that value to this here edit this should be door panel okay the height should be door, door height okay perfect I will change the angle to this bit 30 so now we lock this to here with this one lock it select this one select here lock it so now we want to know this angle for that we need to define the opening distance open this is off the door okay just give a value for 100 for now okay so rp value this parameter 100 open distance so now it is a triangle like a rectangle triangle look at this it's a rectangle triangle we need to define this length this length would be a door panel minus this open distance divided by 2 because of this two panel will come in this in this width so we do that length a okay so that door panel minus open this divided by 2 okay so to know this length 
we need to use the Pythagoras theorem like this. We know this length is door panel length 225. Now we know this length, length A, this door panel minus door open distance 0 by 2. And now we have to get this length B so that we can use the Pythagoras theorem like uh, C square is equal to A square minus A square plus B square. So this B square will be C square minus A square. B is equal to square root of C square minus A square. To apply this here, we need to make some formulas. So length A we know. So now we want to know length B. Length B. Okay. For that, so we have to do panel square. minus sorry length a square so we can do inconsistent unit we can do it later okay. Square root. Now it's the length B. We got it that length. This length is 141. So to get this angle, we need to go another formula like here. So in our case, this angle is B, and since this length is B, we consider the length B, and this is our length A. So it should be B minus A. Length A minus length b for the angle b let's do that in this formula so here and it should be angle angle b okay so a tan length b divided by length a yeah, this is the value. Okay, select this one here. Yeah. Angle B. Okay, now we define this angle. See, if you change the open distance to 150, the angle will automatically change it. Nicer. So, if you make it 100 again, it automatically change it. So now the, the other part is now we have to make it mirror to opposite side exact so we move this distance to here actually select select it move here so this distance whatever we move we lock this this one here actually so rp we don't yet know what is the distance here whenever we moving this will be changed so this given by another formula like sine rules the sine rule is saying saying so we know Now we know this angle, it means this angle. This angle, angle B, so this one also is angle B. So we have 90 degree here, angle 90. So this is angle A, it is small. This one should be angle A, small angle. So it is why angle A is equal to 180 minus 90 plus angle B. Let's do that. angle let's say already a I, I don't know angle a1 I'll put this angle a1 okay it should be angle okay 
so this might be 180 minus 90 plus angle B is 51 so this is 51 since it's a symmetrical triangle on this side whatever here 51 should be this one also 51 so then we can find this angle angle C then we can apply the sine law uh, length a minus sine, la, la, sine length a this sine law so then we can find it out the what is the length C just look at this and uh, check the internet for the sine law you will find it out and you will understand so now we need to get this this angle for that even angle C one I need at angle C1 should be angle okay so 180 minus 2 into angle a 1 this is 77 in this angle is 77 because this is 50 50 this is 70 the total 180 so to get this length we have to uh, I say length C you have to uh, do the sign rule so since this panel width is 30 this is also 30 we know this two dimension so to do that sign rule length C length now we define this as per formula 30 on the door panel side the width of the door panel into bracket sine angle C1 goes one more time Sorry, so one forty two minute divided by okay sine angle A one so two time. So this is the length actually thirty seven point seven. Okay, if you measure this length exactly the same thirty seven point seven. So we define this length by formula. So we give this value. Where is it? Uh, this one. And now we lock it. Lock it. Lock it. So now we finish our this one so we just flex it open distance zero sorry let's so open distance yeah make it zero okay so now it's completely closed open distance 150 open so you can do the same in this side and it looks like what, what I show in the beginning of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Subscribe, like and share please. Thank you.